Hey guys, Scandal here, bringing you a walkthrough of Torchlight 2. Uh, Torchlight 2, a bit of rundown, is basically a, a game that is a copy of like Diablo 2, Diablo 3. It's click, it's an RPG, basic, it's a rope, it's an, you know, an RPG. Basically, it's like a Diablo RPG, I couldn't think of any better analogy. Yes, uh, basically, you go through dungeon, completing quests, and, you know, end the story. The basic of the story is that in Torchlight 1, it was this big ass monster that was defeated by the previous heroes and currently an alchemist uh, obtained the heart of that beast and is now trying to take over the world. So you, as one of as a, one of a new one of the new heroes, have to stop this beast and the alchemist, basically. So you so I shall now play the game as a new game. Uh, basically I have already played a little bit of this game like around to the middle uh, I have a level 33 Amber Mage and a level 17 or 16 Berserker yep, that's pretty much it uh, I'm gonna play this game in uh, normal difficulty and as a uh, Amber Mage but the, the difference with this Amber Mage and my previous Amber Mage is that I will play only with Ice Spell nothing but Ice Spell as you know Amber Mage is, has three different types of spell Fire, Ice and Lightning and for my Amber Mage, I'm gonna play with nothing but ice, ice only spell. Uh, starting, I will have be I will have a, a single fire spell, which you know I will use until I get my very first ice spell. And from there on, nothing but ice. And you know, let's give her name, 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 name. No, no, no. Since this is my very first walkthrough, I should call her my by name, Scandalous. And for a pet, as I'm a big Dota 2 fan, and I have this career in Dota 2, I'm gonna get a badger and I shall name him Fearless. Uh, I'm gonna play normal. Right, basically, what I'm trying to do is it's just a simple uh, Torchlight 2 walkthrough. Uh, at a certain point where I can no longer tank the damage, I will have my friend take over, and you know, you'll see both of us playing the game at the same time. Whoops, this is not supposed to be here. Right, so for basically, uh, right now I'm just gonna do a simple walkthrough. Uh, right now, the quest, but the exclamation mark shows what is the quest, and basically, what I have to do right now is to warn the enclave about the upcoming alchemist that's trying to destroy them. So basically I'm gonna play the walkthrough and I'm gonna give you like simple advice. Oh my god that's a trap. Simple advice and you know how it goes. I'm not much of a multiplayer gamer like no I I'm just a simple single player gamer and I'm just gonna give you my perspective and hope you like what you see. So basically when you play Torch like 2 what you what you're trying to do will be uh you should you know as you can see right now there's a minimap at the top uh I shall bring that up. I tend to play with the minimap in the middle. I hope you guys don't mind. Because when you play a game like Torchlight 2 or Diablo or any kind of RPG game, it's best that you go everywhere. For the sake of EXP, go and loot. And basically in Torchlight 2, there is this thing called the golden chest. In every map, there will be one golden chest. This golden chest will contain lots and lots of like gold and really good loot basically and this loot can only be obtained oh i just left out wait let me finish my uh can be only opened with a golden key uh, basically this golden key can only be obtained either two ways you kill uh, like a mini boss or sort or a golden fairy which both will randomly spawn around the map so if you don't walk around the map you don't find the key you don't open the chest you don't get loot simple all right since i got my first level i'm gonna put my first level into icy blast which is my very first ice spell and i'm gonna change my magma spear to icy blast next will be your build there is many online build for characters in torchlight 2 but personally i would personally give you this advice as well play the character in a build that you like don't follow the guides follow your instinct for example i play my amber mage i focus on focus for more magical damage and a bit of dex and vitality but mostly vitality for allowing that will allow me to soak up some boss damage right so for now i'm just gonna go through collecting whatever i can collect uh these guys are be at 
this early of the level, these guys are basically like harmless. They will do damage, but not much. And IC Blast is really broken, as you can see. It, it basically ricochets, and if it doesn't kill you when the first time, it will kill you the second time when it hits you. Alright, so let's go. Basically, I'm gonna, unless you guys want more, uh, I will cut off like those boring grinding sessions which I have, like to just level up. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna put everything up and hope you guys like it. So basically, see, 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 this spell is so broken. My god. It, it just bounced everywhere and kill everything. But the problem is, it's very, very mana consuming. As you can see, unlike Speed, which doesn't recover, uh, your, your, mana, your mana does. So I should just stand here and wait for a moment, and eventually it will be full. Now, uh, as you go through, you'll see many things like dead bodies, rocks, bones, all sorts of things. Just flip them. There could be lots of gold. Uh, and there could be like really good item underneath then you'll never know so just go through the whole map do everything it, it will benefit you in the it will benefit you in the long run and if you, you don't get anything you want you can just sell them for gold and gold is always good in everything you do right so basically as you can see now there's this blue bar that is full that is my charge bar by casting spell most spells will give you a charge like it will fill up your charge bar if your charge bar is when your charge bar is full, it allows you to cast spell for free. Yeah, for free, but for a limited time. So basically, any spell you cast with your full charge bar will be free of charge. No mana cost whatsoever. This is very good in a way that you can build in your character in a sense that it just max out your charge as soon as possible. And you spam the holy hell out of everything in your way. But of course, there's a drawback to that kind of build. That you don't have much AoE, but... You know, I'm no expert on Touchlight 2, but it sounds nice. I think I'll try that, maybe. See how. Right, so for now, I just kill everything in my way. If you not notice, as a, in Touchlight 2, you can equip everything you have. As long as it meets the requirement, which you eventually will. Because everything will have a set level that you have to meet to equip. Either that, or you have to have a set, set amount of stats for... If you play as an Amber Mage, what you want to equip will be either your wand, which I have now, or a staff. Because for a wand or a staff, they do mostly elemental damage, which, you know, works well with you because you do mostly elemental damage. But if you, for example, equip like a sword or a spear, this will require, the damage will be calculated via your strength attribute. Yeah, your very first one. But as being an Amber Mage, you don't have much strength attribute, so it's not wise to equip a sword or a spear or any of any sorts of other weapon other than a staff or a wand trust me I tried and I died so basically I level up again so I will up my IC blast once more for more damage and after that I'll up my 3 focus 3 to focus 1 to dex 1 to vitality you know what just go all to vitality and dex now basically what your what your pet can do is that it, if you're out in the field and you find yourself full of items you can throw it all to your pet and your pet will you eat uh, see this thing the golden chest I can't open it as you, it's locked as you can see I require I need the golden the golden key to, to open it so basically hopefully this stupid guy here will have the key if not I'm gonna have to hunt out that speaker of the devil so with the golden key you open see okay it might not be much but this is the, the very first golden chest you'll see so no you can't expect much but eventually like late in the game like mid game you have lots and lots of good shit from there trust me uh, so basically yeah I'll just go through the game I'll go to the enclave complete this quest and go on my merry way so basically see now as you can see the thing that shattered is basically a shield obviously uh, if those enemies have a shield they will you have to shatter them before you do any amount of physical damage so it's best you that's it's best you equip your pet with attack that allows you to destroy shield faster or you cast spam spells to break the shield now uh i should end the video here because i just arrived down so this is my very first video i hope you guys enjoy it i'm so sorry if the quality is not that good because i'm using camtasia and there's a slight problem with recording it full screen so i'm using a window so there might be a lag not only that, uh, my mic, my my good mic, is 
spoiled, so I have to make do with this crappy mic till I get my pay for my part time job as a waiter. Yeah, I work as a waiter. Uh, and yeah, basically that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Mm, any feedback will be good feedback. Bad feedback, I will take them also. I would like to improve my game. As you can see, one of the, this shed stash ooh, is like contains items that is from your character. You can put it in here, and your other character, such as mine, this Amber Mage, can open it and, if possible, equip it. But most likely, none. I only put uh, like unique items inside, such as this, which only can be equipped to maybe, like for example, the Engineer or an Outlander. So I don't have anything much inside here. Yeah. Oh, and let me go before I end the video. Let me show you this fishing hole. Basically, what a fishing hole does is you will fish fish for fish, no duh, and you can feed the fish to your pet. Let me show you here. Like I caught this jackal bass. So if I equip this jackal bass, which is will be in my inventory, to my pet. Now, if I eat, let my pet eat the jackal bass, he will transform to this jackal. Each pet, each fish, will give a different kind of Mm, how you say it? Transformation and each transformation has its own disadvantage and advantages. So it will, even in a single player mode with good fish, really good fish, you can your pet will be able to help you along a lot in the in the dungeons to come, maybe to tank and whatnot. And the last thing I want to show you is this. These are amber embers. There will be amber specs, uh, and lots and lots of more embers. Basically, if you equip the embers, uh, to your like this. For example, like it says for weapon, insert ember into weapon and armor with anti stop to gain the effect. So I I just give it to my fire one. In other words, with this in my fire one, I will do plus seven poison damage, which is redundant because I can't do poison damage. But I'm just here to show you. So I've equipped this and tada! Or I can give it to like uh, an equipment with a socket. For example, let's say the healthy light glove. So if I give it to it. And I will have plus eight poison armor, which means poison damage to me will be reduced. Uh, basically, this will just be a simple walkthrough. I just go through doing simple things like going through dungeons and whatnot. Maybe every video will consist of me going through one dungeon or completing a single quest. If I talk through every single thing like just now, I will eventually run out of things to say, and you guys will get bored. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's not much. I will try if if let's say. I have you no know, subscribers, mm -hmm, hint hint, of views. I will, I will definitely even if there is no subscribers of it, I will improve myself and hopefully you guys can enjoy my content. Uh, if you got, I would like, I hope you guys could tell me what you guys want me to play. I don't have much games currently, but I would like, uh, Torchlight Two is just a simple game. I could do Torchlight Two and maybe another game. Uh, I have Fallout Vegas, eight Fallout Three. Limit uh, game year edition, Far Cry 3, Darkness 2, and a whole lot more. I please don't say Dota 2. I play Dota 2 and I atrocious at that game. You will cry seeing me play that game. Basically, I hope you guys enjoy my video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.